the broader set of like, private prisons and the privatization of some government services, we can talk further about that. We are very much troubled with the privatization of, of, our, uh, of our criminal justice system. It's, it's an incredible problem. Uh, you have two major corporations, the Correction Corporation of America and the GEO Group, which are publicly traded corporations that make profits over incarcerating individuals. Uh, you have this incredible devil's bargain in some of these government contracts where when, uh, when a state legislature will turn over their prison system to a private prison corporation, they agree often to fill the beds to a certain quota. It's a perverse kind of incentive to lock people up. So we'll give you this contract, the state of Arizona will give this corporation this contract and the state of Arizona will guarantee that 80% of the beds will be filled so that you can make your profit off of. And so then the police officers are under pressure to fill those beds. It's crazy. Uh, it's unjust. It is immoral. Um, it, is, it is impenetrable, but we are endeavoring to put our, to, uh, put our arms around this issue. It is also notable that you, the, the, the directors of some of these private corporations should be put under scrutiny. You have some very notable individuals. If you Google the board list of the Correction Corporation of America, you will have some names there that will surprise you. They ought to be asked, why are they being given and why do they serve on these paid corporate boards that make their profit over uh, a new Jim Crow? Uh, and so I think there's a lot of grist for the mill on this issue.